It, okay, hold on. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Wait, that's not supposed to be right. Wait! Technical difficulties, hold on. Hold on, wait, uh, that is... There we go. <laughs> Man, I thought I had everything prepared and everything. I already had myself a, my own little introduction of what, or not introduction, but I had an idea of what I was gonna do to like start off the stream. Cause last time I started off with literally screaming and this time I wanted to do something like a little bit more subtle, like, hold on. Man, that was ruined. I mean, it's fine though. It's it's honestly fine. But uh, yeah, uh, I, we're gonna have an art stream today. And uh, before I even start, before I even begin, I need to I need to put on some music that doesn't have lyrics. First of all, uh, hold on, give me a second. Uh, yeah, I need to put on some music that doesn't have any lyrics. Because it'll make me it will it would it will make me want to sing along. Hold on. Uh, you can't you, you currently can't hear my music right now because I have my own little non copyright music playing at the background right now. So sorry, but you know I don't want to get banned. <laughs> uh, I need to find a good song. Um. There's a whole album here. Uh, there you go. Very nice. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I hope you don't mind me today. At least for today, I'm not gonna be talking as as much as I normally would. <clears throat> I think last night's stream really got me. Uh, I don't want to say it pushed me to my limit, but it definitely made me kind of. Um, uh, it, it definitely kind of made me sore, is a, be is a better way to put it. And just, and because of that, I'm having tea today. <laughs> so I hope, I hope you, I hope you don't mind me just getting little sips of uh, tea while, while I'm drawing. For one, it, it helps me speak a little bit more because I can actually op it opens up my throat a lot more, so I can actually communicate a lot better. And second, uh, and second, it's a it's a sleeping one because after I'm done doing all of this whole entire thing, I'm gonna be able to just go to sleep because again, I have work tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I don't really have too much to talk about except like maybe I don't know. We're gonna be drawing a new a new art piece today. But hey, guess what? I actually, uh, yesterday and the day before, I actually, uh, wanted to, like, kind of, like, make my own little signature and stuff like that, because, first of all, I like my own signature, but it actually took a lot, it actually took a while to, to kind of do it, and so, I wanted to make my own little signature, and I actually did kind of make one a little bit, if that, it's not much, but it's literally, like, cursive sushi, and then when it goes to the F, I come up, I go down, and I come, and I come around like this to make it form like a little heart. And then I can just put the little food at the end. I don't know. It's my first, it's my, I don't want to say it's my first attempt, but it's kind of like, I don't know, it's my own little signature that I'm kind of, I kind of enjoy it at least right now. Again, I hope you don't mind, I hope you don't mind the slurping. And... I, and, and for me not talking as much today because again last night's stream I was so high energy that like I constantly kept talking and constantly kept uh, doing a lot of uh, I 
mean, I, I was just, I was just really high good mood, if that really, if that makes sense. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, no I'm normally not used to doing like three hour long streams. Uh, hold on, fantasy. I'm not really used to doing a lot of long streams. So, in general, me doing a lot of streams and stuff like that for like an extended amount of time. I'm not quite used to that. I mean, I can do it, but again, things like that, it's a little, I don't want to say it's out of my comfort zone because I absolutely enjoyed it, but I, I definitely feel the effects afterwards, like I'm done streaming and uh, after I'm streaming and all that stuff. Because even then, yesterday at around like the two hour, 30 minutes mark, uh, hold on, at around two hour and 30 minutes. I was already kind of feeling the effects of me just like, I wanted to keep going, but my throat was already getting a little sore, partially because I didn't have water. And second of all, I don't have that great of control when it comes to uh, speaking through my diaphragm. So every time I speak or something, I speak for long periods of time, my vocal cords in general take a very big hit, like a, a really, like not like a big, big hit, like it's going to damage it. But it definitely takes a big hit because I'm not used to speaking so much for that expended amount of time, especially as, uh, with high energy like that. And I, I'm trying to work on it. The problem is, is that like in order to speak in loud bursts or something like that, or have the volume all the way up, it's kind of difficult because oh, like even now, even now I'm not I'm not doing uh, doing it well because um. Uh, a lot of my, my a lot of my vocal my vocal teachers because I, I, lately I've been taking a lot of vocal lessons. They've been teaching me on uh, uh, breathing techniques on how to breathe correctly, and it's very difficult because the time uh, when everyone breathes, they like lift their shoulders up and like expand their chest through the upper body, which in reality, I mean, and it, it's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing. Because when you breathe like that, it for the average person, it doesn't really do too much to them. But for someone who's like uh, doing like podcasting, singing, anything that has to do with exerting a lot of like vocalization or using their vocal cords, um, it kind of takes a toll on them and it makes their throat a little sore. And, and, and in doing so they're not able to perform as well like they weren't they're not able to get those high notes they're not able to sustain a long conversation or anything like that so professionals train themselves to speak from the diaphragm if you don't know what a diaphragm is the diaphragm is let's say let's say um let's say that these are your lungs right these are your lungs and these are your lungs. This is your throat right here. And this is the opening to where your mouth is that I know what this looks like. Okay. <laughs> Just ignore it. But, uh, yeah, these are your lungs and this is the throat that connects the, both of your lungs. A lot of people, when they breathe their, the, when they breathe their, th uh, uh, their lungs like to expand and, and, uh, deflate. And that's how we breathe. And a lot of people, when they breathe, they breathe with their chest and their shoulders, and it it would cause their lungs to expand and deflate because they're constantly moving their shoulders, and that's bad for the that's bad for your throats, like where it kind of controls like the pitch and how you speak. What tra what vocalists and professional, I guess you could say, people who do podcasts or something like that. They speak through the diaphragm, which is a little sac, or which is a little uh, piece of tissue that's connected on, right underneath the lungs. And what it likes to do is it likes to go up and down, and that inflates and deflates the lungs automatically. So you don't have to tense up these muscles up here, straining your throat. Because every time you tense up your muscles here, it strains your throats. And so whenever you speak, it, it, it takes more toll on your throat. So in order to avoid that, you 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 train to breathe through your your diaphragm because your diaphragm is supposed to be the natural it's supposed to be the natural inflation and deflation of your lungs, and I'm kind of learning how to do that right now. 
but it's actually very difficult because like even right now as i'm talking i'm like tensing up my shoulders as i speak and it's apparently not a good thing because i'm not letting my diaphragm do the work for me and i'm trying to figure out how to do that and i'm i'm pretty sure a lot of your i'm pretty sure a lot of uh vocalists or and like streamers in general have some sort of training like that or they're already just naturally good at it i'm not really sure all I know is today I'm gonna try drawing. Um, I don't know. I have I had an idea of what I'm gonna draw, but I don't know how I'm gonna go for it. And I wanted to draw. I wanted to draw something. I wanted to draw a scene from a, a thing that I've been kind of working on for a, quite a long time. But I've never actually physically drawn the characters from that show, from from that idea that I have, and I think it, and I kind of want to try it for the first time, at least now, and it's it's gonna be a little difficult because the things that I, the thing the idea that I'm thinking of right now, isn't, it's not easy because I'm drawing from a perspective, if like let's say that the image is like is this is is this thing right. And the camera is this. The camera is taking a picture of what I'm drawing, but the camera is on the ground, and it's taking that perspective. That perspective. Okay, hold on. Uh, this the little the little grid right here is the ground, and this is the camera. The camera is on the gr is on the ground, right? The the camera is on the ground, and this this whole entire line is what I'm trying to take a picture of, and the problem is is i think i might be doing this wrong it might be reversed in the camera i'm not sure let me check hold on yeah it's uh, yeah i'm doing it wrong <laughs> i forgot that i flipped the camera so okay this is the <laughs> This is the ground, this is the camera, this is the scene that I'm taking a picture of. And I'm trying to draw a perspective uh, looking at, an, at, at a right, at a, at basically a right degree angle where the camera is pointing up at the direction of the thing. And that's very difficult to draw. So we're going to try to draw that. Not to mention, I'm also trying to draw some uh, action lines that kind of show movement and thing, and stuff like that. That is something I did learn in art class, and I haven't really tried it yet, but we're gonna try it together. But before I even start, one thing I should I should I should also say is I got pens. I got new pens, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to test them out to, in this stream, but uh, they're basically like they mimic uh, manga manga pens that. Uh, some of your favorite manga artists draw. And I think in general, I think some of them actually use uh, the Sakura pens like this for some manga artists. I don't know, but I know that for the fact that they're trying, that these this specific brand tries to mimic uh, some manga artist um, pen qualities that they use. Cause sometimes they use different pens. I don't know exactly what brands they use. But I got recommended by that by a friend who is uh, currently an art student at a university, and they highly recommended that. And they're cheap, honestly, twelve dollars for this whole pack. So we're gonna test those out. Sorry, I need I need to breathe because, like, again, I'm not uh, I'm not one hundred percent recovered from yesterday's stream. I wish I could. I wish I could draw more. Uh, not draw more. I wish I could talk a lot more. But you know, it's it, it's just how it is, really. Uh, if you don't notice, if you don't know what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to find a uh, reference to draw, because I have an idea of what I want to draw. Oh, actually, that's a good, really good reference right here. It's from a video game, though. Uh, open image in Newtown. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to draw something. Hmm. I don't know how to start this, honestly. I 
guess first we should try drawing the foreground. I hope you guys don't mind if I tr if I don't talk too too much on this stream. Again, I'm trying to recover. And I want to see if I can even use the I want to see if I can even use the little pens today. So normally it, when I talk and draw at the same time, it's not a good combination because I will just not s I I will either not draw and just talk about concepts or I will draw a lot and not um really say too too much but i'm gonna see if i can get a little bit of both today we're gonna we're, we're, we won't worry about that for now let's let's take a look at pirate oh if you don't know what we're doing today i'm gonna uh i'm trying to draw characters that i have and they themselves are pirates can't find a good angle. Oh, actually, that's a really good... Okay, I found a really good reference. Yeah, that's a great reference. Hold up. Maybe I should... Should I try drawing... Hmm. Do I have... Do I have an image... Fantasy stuff. Uh, do I have any drawings of her? Oh, I do. Oh, wow. She actually looks a lot different in my head than this actual art that I have of her. All right, let's try drawing. Oh man, this is actually gonna be a little difficult. Cause I wanna draw her, I wanna draw her standing. I wanna draw her here. I should have drawn the circles w before I started the stream, because now you're going to see me struggling on how to draw a circle. <laughs> I am not at that level where I can just draw a perfect circle. I have to draw a perfect circle for like, not like draw a perfect circle, but like try to draw, like immediately draw it. I have no idea how a lot of professional art, I guess it's practice, but a lot of professional artists, I've seen them draw like near identical perfect circles but they'll draw it like this and they'll draw it like that rather than like drawing it like like i guess you could say like how i'm holding a pencil right now and apparently the way i how i hold pencils too is not uh good apparently i don't know why it is but like i hold my pencils like this and apparently that's not good i don't i don't know i don't know why but i remember someone told me that uh and I actually, I kind of believe them uh, uh, up to a point. I kind of believe them to a point because uh, if I if I write for long periods of time, uh, I'll literally start getting like cramps, like in like like the this part and then like this part, and then sometimes I'll get them here. Or I won't get cramps; I'll get sore right there. <sighs> oh wow, that T is actually working really fast. Also, I need to find a good, I need to find a good music. Hold on, I need to find some really good music. these songs 
I'm trying to find really good songs to set the mood, but all of the pirate songs that I have are super happy. Hold on. And I also don't have a lot of good songs to actually replicate this, what I need, what I want to do. Because I'm trying to find a good battle kind of esque fantasy music. But the, the genre that I'm looking for doesn't really have it. It's too fantasy for me. So I don't know. I want a specific type of song. Uh. Anyway. This isn't, this isn't, uh, what I'm drawing right now isn't really, I'm just, I'm just mapping things out. something like that hi <laughs> welcome to the stream Sorry if I'm not talking too much. Uh, when I, whenever I do art streams, I, I was explaining it earlier. Whenever I do art streams, I don't normally talk too, too. I mean, I definitely talk, but I'm kind of like resting in a, in a way. Also, he's not looking that right. So I may have drawn it too, too big. You're good, no need to explain yourself. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, last night's stream that, uh, last night's stream that I did, uh, I'm still gonna talk, by the way, because why the gloves? Oh, if you don't, if you want to know why the gloves, uh, uh, I like to... <laughs> I know it's kind of I know this is kind of new, but uh, I I'm very self-conscious about uh, people kind of knowing who I am in general. So uh, before I every time I do art streams or something like this, I'll always do precautions where I'll have gloves. I'll have the specific sleeves that uh, protect my skin so that it never comes off and you can't see any of my skin. I have long pajamas on, I have either, right now I have a scarf on, and I have my hair tied back. <laughs> I, I have a, uh, I have a few hair ties, and I also have, hold on, it's like buried underneath my microphone. I have, well, I mean, that's just one hair tie. I have a few hair ties right here. And I also have hair clips. <laughs> so my hair doesn't get uh, on the table, you know. But I'm kind of self-conscious when it comes to, like, people knowing a little bit of knowing too, too much about me. At least when it comes to, like, people who come in, uh, I don't know. I know from, uh, I, I know it's kind of weird to explain, but I'm very... A lot of people are judgmental based on, like, appearances when it comes to not just, like, anything. I don't want anyone to see me, I guess. Like, li something as simple as skin color in general can, like, you know, 
Yeah, I don't I don't want people I don't want people to kind of judge me based off of for one skin color to um I don't know, really. <laughs> also, I like to be anonymous, so Mm. Also, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm trying to draw I'm I kind of I'm trying to draw a scene from a story thing that I have. But I don't have much experience. Hey, what you make today? Maybe I should do something like this. Hmm. Hey, you made hummus? Oh my god, I absolutely love hummus. Wait, did you make homemade hummus? Like, you had to soak the chickpeas and stuff like that? Holding sword. Holding sword outwards. Sorry, I'm looking... Sorry, I'm looking for uh, references on how to draw, or how to draw certain angles. Uh, pointing with sword. Oh, that's perfect. That's a perfect angle. Open image a new tab. There you go. Uh, it says sun-dried tomatoes, basil, and it's ooh, sun-dried tomatoes. I dropped my, uh, I dropped my eraser. Hey, where did my eraser go? We used to make hum, we used to make homemade hummus, but we used to make homemade hummus like a long time ago, when we had. Well, I mean, we have a food food blender now, but uh, we kind of stopped making homemade hummus because I don't know, honestly. We stopped making homemade hummus because, I don't know, really. I think it was just really hard, and I guess my family just didn't want to make any more of it, so they just stopped making it, in all honesty. Hold on. Also, this is how I draw. I, I erase a lot. <laughs> but I have, a, I have currently the angle of what I want. Yeah, hummus is so good. Well, like we used to make our homemade hummus, but we stopped making it. And currently now, all the hummus that we always eat, at least nowadays, is the C Sephara. I don't know what brand it is, but it's like the it's it's some sort of brand that you can get at the marketplace. But we get like the large, like extreme large tubs of hummus, and we'll just like, I'll I'll just devour it because. I'll either eat it with like like the best thing that I love eating hummus with is um two things. I'll either have like a sli like sliced cucumbers on the side and then like a splash of hummus like on like a, on a plate and I'll just eat it. Oh, or with carrots or something like that. It'd be really good. Either that or if I really want something I guess quote hearty, it would be like a, a piece of toast. It would be a piece of toast. Um. We get the piece of toast, toast it, and it has to be like sourdough, like, because we buy like sourdough bread, like freshly baked from the bakery, and it would be like very thick piece of sourdough toast or something else, what, who, who knows, and then you get the, you get the thing, you slather the hummus on it, and if I feel creative, maybe I'll add like a slice of tomato, maybe I'll add some olive, sliced olives, who knows really, it's really good. You're, you're eating with peppers. Hold on now. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. What kind of peppers? It, uh, if you if if you have ever made sourdough bread, it's so good. Uh, very. I actually kind of want to learn. I kind of want to do a cooking stream. Uh, for everyone, because one thing I love doing is I love baking. Or I'm not baking. I love baking and I love cooking. And uh, I always wanted to do like a cooking stream where like I'll just cook and like everyone will like everyone can watch me cook and I'll make something pretty cool. Or like I'll do one thing I really wanted to do is, um, uh, oh, hey, you're getting bell peppers. You grow bell peppers. We actually grow our own. Uh, wait, hold on. Wait, wait. 
Oh, that's actually really cool that you grow your own uh, ingredients and stuff like that. We, uh, I actually grow, uh, okay, we recently just started trying to grow, like, I grow herbs and stuff like like basil parsley rosemary and like you know the very basic stuff but we recently started growing um uh what is it called um uh, bitter melons they're called bitter melons and they grow on like vines and they're all over the side of my like uh my fence that we have and they would produce like these actually i have a few in i have a few uh uh bitter melons in the uh in the fridge if you want me to go show it to you real quick but i have to i have to yeet all the way towards the kitchen to get one <laughs> by the way this is how my this is how my art art uh streams are also you eat bell peppers too absolutely love bell peppers a lot of my friends used to make fun of me because uh i would just straight up eat like raw bell peppers because, I don't know, I just like bell peppers. They're really good. I don't know which bell peppers I would get, but I know, like, the... They're hard, they're kind of hard to see. But I know, uh, whenever I get them on the package, they'd always sell red bell peppers. It would be, like, red, yellow, and I think orange. I don't remember. And I used to just get them and... You don't like cooked bell... Oh, you don't like roasted... I like, I like bell peppers either way, honestly. Uh, I actually had bell peppers today. Because um, my sister recently bought a whole package of like flour tortillas, and I had uh, I cooked some, I cooked like some steak, uh, I you know steak, cut up some onions, uh, got some bell peppers. I think it was orange one this time, and then like put it in like a little taco and then just ate it. <laughs> it's so good. You can't stand the texture of the skin if it's cooked. If I remember correctly, the the skin the skin's kind of like a little rubbery, isn't it? Unless unlike it's crispy, like like a real bell, bell pepper or a raw bell pepper. Because I remember when I ever cooked bell peppers, it sounds really. I mean, it's it's pretty good, but you know, uh, for me, uh, if you remember yesterday when I was talking to that other person, um, how we were talking about like our struggles when it comes to like weight issues. Uh, a long time ago, I, I told him that a long time ago, I ha I struggled with weight and uh, the worst I ever been was, what is it, 246, 246 or something like that. And ever since then, like after like I lost all the weight and stuff like that, I constantly have to like, I, I have some, I have an app on my phone called My Fitness Pal. And everything that I eat, I have to weigh it and put it into the the calorie counts, so I can just keep that. So I can always just look the same, I guess. But yeah, uh, I mean, it it sounds it sounds it was good, but like in all honesty, uh, after learning how to cook and stuff like that, I mean, when you, when you get like a bunch of vegetables and stuff, you kind of you know, not my fitness. <laughs> I know a lot of people a lot of people cringe at the fact that it's like my fitness pal or something like like my just the app in general the my fitness pal but i i've had it for quite a while uh, maybe over two years i think because it's been a while since i've done or it's been a while since i've you know weighed that that much but like i keep it on me because like i'm one of those people who like who can't I'm one of those people who, if I eat something way over my limit, I'll, like, gain, like, a lot of weight afterwards. So that's why I always have to, like, go to the gym. Then I have to go to the gym. I have to watch what I eat. I have to, you know, do all this stuff. I have to do all that stuff in order to stay where I am. I, I don't hate it, but it's, you know, compared to my sister who can just eat anything, it's like, <sighs> come on. Also, I'm having a really tough trouble, tough time trying to figure out how, how I'm gonna shape this drawing. <laughs> hmm. I don't know if I want to do a side profile of the can, because there's gonna be two characters. There's gonna be one character who's the captain, and they have a certain outfit. Hmm. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Because I can either have the cannon facing like this at a side perspective, or maybe at a slight angle uh, of them pointing this way. 
or I could kind of do a perspective where the, like, where the sword is pointing towards the car the, the person who would look at it. But the problem is, doing that angles is kind of difficult for me. But I really want to do it because it looks nice. And I'm kind of at a crossroads right now. One one is easier, but the other one it's kind of a challenge. But it, it but it would be it's kind of a challenge that would be worth it at the end. Do it. yeah. See that's what I'm saying. I, I am I am one of those people who would be like, oh, you gotta challenge yourself because you know what's the point of doing something the same thing over and over again, right? I mean I don't mind doing the same thing over and over again, but I really want to like. I really want again. That's that's how I came. That's how I got to this point. Like actually, you know, I could probably show you. One thing I'm drawing right now, I can show you. Uh. Ah. The guitar. Sorry. Yeah, one thing I was gonna I was gonna show, um, yeah, because if you, if I didn't challenge myself, I wouldn't be able to draw how I am now. Like for example, the first time I ever started drawing, this is what my drawings looked like. I mean, it's not the best. I'm not gonna praise it, but it was decent. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to I'm trying to find other pictures. I I have a I have a whole stack of paper right here. Of like all the drawings that I first did. Uh. Oh, actually, one that I can actually show you that's relevant. Very recently, I drew something because uh, it's you know I wanted to draw. Something. Uh, I had to draw this character, and this is uh, this is a character for something, and this is a this is a drawing I did a while ago, and if you look at this character, I'll, I'll show you what the I'll show you what the I drew him very recently, and this is what he looks like. Hold on. No, no. Yeah, but if you could tell, if you could, it look. Sorry, I just saw the thing. Shh. <laughs> Listen. I draw humans too, okay? I draw humans too. I know it looks like that. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Listen, back then, I, okay, hold on. Look, wait, wait, hold on. I'll explain. The only reason why I draw this is because back then, it was kind of like my comfort thing, but nowadays, the com the community for it has gotten really weird. All right, I don't associate it with them. But it's kind of like my comfort thing, okay? <laughs> I have been exploring beyond that. But yeah, this is what this is what I used to draw. This is what it kind of looked like, a little bit more of a progression. And this is what I drew literally this week. Same character and everything. I mean, these are additional characters, but you know. Now, now to prove that I don't just draw this, hold on. Hello, hello, Joe. I'm just showing uh, the moo, um, the the progression of how I used to draw to like now. Now to prove you to to prove to you, I don't just draw this. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Wait. We're gonna. We we, <laughs> we know you just drew that. Uh, yes, I know. Uh. Also, yeah, I have more sock pu puppet emotes that I was drawing. 
<laughs> hold on, wait. Like, for example, my persona. See, I still... Hold on, like, I'm telling you, I still... I, I know how to draw humans, okay? <laughs> I know how to draw humans. <laughs> the only reason why I don't draw humans on stream is because, believe it or not, this is really difficult to do. I am... <sighs> This took me a while to draw, but then again, it's supposed to be, I don't want to say this is what I look like, but I did base this off of how I would try drawing. I'm not going to say this is what I look like, but it is based off of my, my appearance, kind of. But I don't look like this, like, you know. But yeah, this, yeah, I, I don't know. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm just proving it to you, okay? I know how to draw things other than than ponies. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, hey, there you go. Look, yeah, there's the there's the <laughs> there's my uh, sock puppet thing <laughs> and other things that I've drawn. Well, this is me practicing humans. More heat, more practicing, more practicing. Oh, don't look at that. More practicing. I'm not gonna show you this. Yeah, you don't, okay, listen. Listen, okay, no, hold on, listen. <laughs> I draw more than that. Again, I only draw ponies because it's a comfort thing. It's something that I, that I like. It's something I like to draw, but it kind of makes me sad because the the community for it has gotten very very weird in general. I can't really control it, but you know, I mean, the the, the community has been weird since the beginning. Uh, what do you mean? What is it? Are you talking? Are you talking to Joe? Or are you talking to me? I need to bring up my reference too. Uh, I need to find a good reference of a cannon. Uh, yeah, well, you know what I like to draw that's considered. Yeah, what do you what do you like to draw that's comfortable to you? Uh, for me, my comfort thing is that is the old pony drawings that I drew. I'm just, it's just comforting, honestly. Also, the characters that I've made for that specific thing. Comfort characters, I guess. I also, I obviously doing am doing more than just that. So I just don't do it in stream because you're gonna hear me scream <laughs> out of frustration. Yeah, but what is what is it that you like to do that's that's comfortable? That's that's what's comfortable for me. Also, I can't find a good picture of a cannon. Oh, really? Uh, can't judge though. I uh, I grew up in My Little Pony and was a horse girl who actually rode. Oh, thank God. Yeah, see, the thing is, uh, it's actually very difficult to draw this kind of stuff in public. Oh, actually, before I get into that. <coughs> Let me take a look at what uh, Hederick drew. That's actually very calming. The 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 thing that you sent in the the fan interaction, it's very smooth. Like uh, again, when I was when I took art classes and stuff like that. When I, when you draw art classes, we learned a lot about like how how much a line affects, like the sharpness of lines, the curvature of lines, like the significance of each lines. Yeah, like that stuff. Yeah, I like yeah. I can see why that's very calming. Yeah, you can DM it to me, but uh, when it uh, when you used to, when you grew up on MLP or Milo Pony, yeah, th drawing that stuff in 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 public is actually very difficult for me, and um, cause again, like you got a you got a grown dude, like sitting in a break room with everyone else, 
and you have like your sketchbook out and you're just drawing, right? And obviously people are gonna be like, ooh, what are you drawing kind of thing. I can't just straight up say I'm drawing My Little Pony because I mean, that's kind of weird, honestly. I mean, and, and I can, I, can get, I get it for some people's perspectives. Uh, like for example, like when I drew this, when I drew this, it was like, I did, I drew this alone, right? I drew this alone. So like no one really got to see this, but when I drew, um, nope, no, that's another human. I don't want you to see <laughs> my emotes, <laughs> but when I drew this specific character, that's part of the, the, th the thing. I had a lot of people kind of asking me like they like this or what's this character and I would have to tell them that it's a Disney inspired character that I would draw because if I tell them what it actually is they'll be like eh that's weird but if I tell them it's Disney inspired hey like they won't they'll, they, they'll think it's cute also I like this character so you know Uh, let's see. Oh, which one do you want? Uh, you can send me, you can send me both of them, honestly. You can send me both of them. Uh, see, the thing, the reason why my sketches are so clean. Um, I can actually show. I, I wouldn't say they're actually clean because I, I, I do, I do a better job at hiding. I do a better job at hiding all the, the hard lines. And I guess one of the things... Uh, that that the reason why it's so clean is because I use at the minimum I use three different types of pencils this one has a very soft lead which is 2B lead and it's supposed to smear easily it's very soft but it wears out su super fast and then you have these two pencils which are harder leads and I these are my finishing leads where after I'm done sketching this I'll with or with this I'll lightly erase the whole thing and then redraw the lines with either this one or this one and I actually have another pen pencil that I don't use that often but I will occasionally use it and I might have lost it <laughs> Which is actually really bad because those things. Does your eraser have stab marks in it? Actually, nah, it doesn't. Uh, I, I can actually show you. Wait, hold on. Let me see if I can find my pencil. Because if I actually did lose that, that other pencil that I have, that's actually really bad. But I used to actually be a person who who would stab like the the eraser a lot. But that was like when I was really small though. Wait, hold on. So, hold on. All right, forgive me. Hold on. Let me let me go. Let me go to my bag because I might be missing that pencil, the other pencil that I have, and it's very expensive. And I need to see if it's in my. It, I need to see if it's in my. Uh, in my uh, bag. Hold on. Give me a moment. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, I had I had uh, the the pencil that I, I had to go check my bag because there's one pencil that was really expensive to get, and I had to make sure I didn't lose it. And uh, it's this pencil. 
this is more for fine details uh and it's extremely thin you know how like uh pencil leads it goes uh 0 0.9 0 0.7 and 0 0.5 right pencil like mechanical pencils well this is a 0 0.3 pencil lead and it's very thin i don't even know if it'll even appear on the camera but uh yeah this is another th these are the main four pins that i draw with in order to get clear lines i mainly draw with this one which has the soft lens or lead and these three have the hard lead so that if you want to get like a really good um hard lines to where you can hide a lot of the eraser marks soft lead and then hard lead and <laughs> i don't even know where it is to make things worse i even have more pens i have <laughs> I'm going to have to start drawing with this, too, so keep that in mind. I have a lot of pencils that I draw with. Now I need to catch up with chat. Uh, hold on. Uh, okay, my massive for big mistakes eraser used to have stab wounds. It uses so much that it's now gone. Actually, yeah, the... Uh, I want to I want to keep this eraser. Speaking of that, with erasers, I want to keep this eraser because I want to be able to like use all of it. This actually used to be like those pink erasers that would be like this big, and that's how much I use this thing. <laughs> uh, you keep thumbtacks and safety pins in your erasers. What? How? What? <laughs> that poor eraser. That poor eraser. Oh, so let me check my DMs. Because uh, you, uh, you sent me the thing. Oh, that's cool, actually. Uh, I saw the eyeball one that you drew. And this one... I can't tell what the second one is, but I do like the eyeball one. It's very abstract. Uh, I don't... Do you... Do you want to... If you guys want to, I can show you my entire arsenal of uh, of how I draw things. Because besides drawing traditionally, uh, is it horror art? Uh, I wouldn't say it's horror art, but to, I can see why some people would kind of, what kind of, you know. Oh, it is horror art? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, they DM'd it to me, so it's not going to be on the server. <laughs> you love horror? Ah, oh, man. That's one thing I would love to do. I want to learn how to draw horror. Do you know who uh, Juno, I Juno Ito is? That does, like, the manga horror? Absolutely love his work. He does, like, the most grotesque and horrifying things in, in his manga series. And it's absolutely beautiful, and I love it. Mom said pizza rolls are done. <laughs> if you love horror, you need to look up Juni Ito. Juni Ito? I think that's his name. He's a, he's a horror manga. Yeah, he's a horror manga artist. And his stories are actually really... Re they're really short, but they're very cool. Really cool. I would highly recommend it if you're, if you're looking... If you want to go into horror manga. But that's more... Um, I don't want to call it supernatural, but it's definitely unrealistic horror. If you want to get into other horror stuff, you know, I make horrific things and move up. I don't think I've drawn horror before. I really have a painting from The Conjuring 2 that I painted uh, of the nun next to my bed, really? <laughs> You just have the Conjuring 2 nun just painted right next to your bed. <laughs> have you showed the 3D frog I made before? I don't think so. Ever since, uh, ever since, like, um, ever since Sunny, like, disappeared from, like, Twitch and stuff like that, I don't think we kept in contact. The only time we ever kept in contact was literally through Twitch now, like, when I came back. Uh, I need to find a good drawing of a cannon and I need to find a better drawing or I need to find a better um, song 
Uh, there you go. I just can't get into anything anime or manga related. It just seems cool. I just can't get into it. Hey, that's understandable. Not everyone can really be getting into like anime or manga. Uh, I know for me, I am an anime fan. I don't want to say that fan. I'm more of an anime enjoyer. I normally spend a lot of my time. I don't actually. I don't actually spend a lot of my time reading or watching TV in general. The only time I'll ever read or watch or, or watch anything anime slash manga related is if one of my friends wants to watch uh, anime with me, and that's the only time I'll ever watch like I'll properly watch TV. Other than that, I'm majority of the time I'm just sitting here drawing, writing music, playing in instruments, or. Uh, Gaming, I guess, but I, I hardly game, too. That's the thing. I, I'm more of a, I'm more of a, like I'm, I'm currently surrounded by like freaking, one, two, three, four, five. I'm currently surrounded by five instruments right now. Just, just sitting here. I have more instruments in my, in my. <laughs> I got more instruments in my freaking other room that I have. Speaking of instruments. Oh my god! I also have a piano! Uh, okay, no, make that six. It's Make that six instruments, hold on. I'm sorry if I- I'm sorry if I, uh, trigger PTSD from- from piano. Wait, I don't even know if the microphone's even ca catching it. Yeah, I got I got a piano right here. <laughs> Sorry if I triggered PTSD. <laughs> I just wanted to showcase that I have a piano as well. Uh, looking uh, looking fan interactions. Oh my god. <laughs> He just it's a three, it's a it's a clay or is it a clay frog clay uh, statue of a frog? <laughs> what kind of piano do I have? Uh, I think it's a Yamaha. Uh, oh, actually, it's a William. It's not a piano. It's a keyboard. Uh, forgive me. I have a uh, a Williams uh, Allegro Allegro two. Uh, we actually have two keyboards. Uh, I have one keyboard in here, and then we have another keyboard in the studio, but that's more of my sister's... That's more of my sister's, um, piano than, than it is mine. Because me and my sister, uh, we don't live with our parents, but me and, a, and my other sisters... Um, me and my other sisters, uh, basically share rent in this one house. And, uh, how would you say it? Everyone has their own. Everyone has their own thing. So we kind of share. I don't know how to explain. We we turned the master bedroom into a stu and into a music studio, <laughs> and all the other rooms that are meant for uh like like children I guess are uh, our rooms. So it's very cool, but it's also very weird by the time everyone moves out. And the only reason why we're doing this now is because uh, two of my sisters are still in college. And rather than going to um, going to a university dorm or something like that, we all decided, hey, we're already we're already used to living to each with each other. I mean, surely we can spend more time living to work with each other outside of like our parents' comfort or outside of our parents' homes. So we got this little house. And we all have, we all share our instruments and everything like that. For me, I specialize in guitars, anything string related. My sister does the sax, piano, and the other one is a, she's more electronic music. So she definitely do like, she has a, a mixing, uh, is it a turntable? I think it's a turntable. It's the thing with like the record player that you can like scratch and stuff like that. And she does that kind of stuff. Also, I think 
I used to have arms, but they fell off. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's cool, but in all in all reality, it's just more of us trying to save money. Because all of us are trying to... Um, I'm technically done with, with school, but I might go... I might continue on. Uh, I might continue doing school in the future to at least finish and get a PhD, but that's still like, you know, up, to, up for grabs. But my sisters currently are trying to get their master's degree. One of them's getting their master's degree in engineering, I think, or architecture. I don't remember what it was. It's something has to do with um, construction of some sorts. And the other one is, I don't know what the other one's doing, honestly. <laughs> But for me, I just kind of, I kind of just stopped. I kind of stopped because I do have a good job already. But I could get better. Who knows? I'm not, I'm not old to like, I'm not old to like, you know. I'm not old enough. I don't know. That's so much school too. Yeah, it, yeah, it really is. Um, because for me, what do I have to do? Uh, I would have to get into med school, and then after med school, I would have to do residency, and then after residency, I would have to do... I think I think after that, it's done, though. After residency, then I would have to actually get a real job? I don't know. I, don't know. I, I forgot what you actually have to do. I just know that me getting into med school and going through it is very difficult. But for me, I took a safe plan in getting a degree in a, in the field where I can, I could literally just stop and just make a living off of what I have already. Because my original idea was if I go to med school, uh, I re and if I somehow just didn't go get into med school, I already have a follow up job, and like, I already have the education to get myself a good job. You'd be surprised if I make it through med school. Yeah, med school. God. <laughs> med school. It's it's, it's difficult. It's difficult. I don't know. I, I might get into. I might go. I might go into med school. I might not. Uh, what I'm trying to do right now, just kind of growing low. Go lay low. Do the job that I do right now. Get paid stream a little bit if that ever gets if that ever catches up then i don't have to go to med school and if i end up do if i ever do go to med school i'll still be streaming so you know who, who knows uh i was surprised that i made it through high school man my high school was so terrifying jesus christ my high school was terrifying I could, also, I can't think. I can't find a good. A lot of the, a lot of the things I'm doing right now is trying to find a really good song to play while I draw this. Also, I think I'm just gonna do it right now. You were just really lazy. <laughs> yeah, my high school was just very. I don't even know. I wouldn't be surprised if I don't make it out alive. <laughs> Uh, you'll be you'll be okay. You'll be fine. Uh, the 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 best thing that I can say for everyone, if you're still in school, I don't know if you guys are in school, is just do what your teacher says. There's no point in going above and beyond. Just do what she, what they say, and you'll be good. That's how I made it through school. Because a lot of the teachers don't really care about you going above and beyond. They really just care if you meet the credentials of what they gave you. Uh, like I got into two man honors honors class. Oh, two math. On Hell, heck no. That is. <laughs> you will not catch me knowing. You will not catch me doing anything close to math. Math is my weakness. If it wasn't obvious, I failed English like four times in my whole school life. Actually, that uh, have I ever have I ever told you about like when it comes to with me? Don't worry if you if you're not good with math. Like, don't worry if you're not good with a certain subject. I've never I have literally never passed the spelling test. 
<laughs> Hold on. Wait. Are, aren't you dyslexic too, though? So you get a... If you're dyslexic, you get a pass. Because it's technically correct. <laughs> it's technically correct, in all honesty. I don't uh, I don't do spelling tests. I haven't done spelling tests since like uh, elementary school, where um, I think it was like maybe fourth grade, fourth or third grade, where they would give us spelling tests and it would just be something. And we would have like a list of like twenty words, and you have to memorize every single one of them. Uh, uh, but like math, art, and science, I'm good at. Okay, not math. Uh, anything that has to relate with science and health, I absolutely love it really easily y'all had physics and science i had physical science uh what science did i take when i was in high school i took um i took biology class i took health class um i took physics and anatomy and physiology that's what i took in high school so it was health Biology, health, biology, uh, physics, and A and P. That's what I took in high school. I don't think I actually did anything. I didn't even do chemistry in high school. So when I went to college and had to take chemistry, it messed me up so hard. So, sorry if I'm being uh, quiet again. I want to be able to. It, I want to be able to like draw something so you guys can watch. I want to be able so you can. Uh, not not watch so you don't get bored. Oh, again, I want I want you guys to not be bored. So I'm gonna draw something. Which, by the way. Stop! <laughs> I'm taking. Uh, hold on. I'm taking bio, uh, physical science, chem, and now I'm taking AMP, AP chem, because I took a ton of classes in middle. Really? What is two to the sixty-four power? <laughs> no. I, what? Also, I can't stop apologizing. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is just how I normally am. Also, her arm needs to be a little bit more lower. <laughs> I always feel the need to apologize because like, you know, I don't know, it's just something it's just something that I normally am or I normally do. <laughs> I want her I want her angled. I want it a little bit more. I was gonna draw the cannon first, but in all honesty, I think I need. I normally like to draw this side and then move my way, cause she's supposed to be last to draw. But I don't think I'm gonna be able to do the proportions right. I don't know. Cause the cannon's gonna be kind of facing right here. And I'm going to have another character kind of peeking her head over in this side. Or at least right here with the cannon pointing out. And she is going to be commanding. And they're kind of be, they're going to be on a ship of some sort. So the platform is going to be here. I might put a, a person here where she can she's kind of standing on top of him. So it would kind of be like this. Who knows? 
Uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Also, I need to erase that part because that does, this part doesn't really make sense. That needs to be erased. Uh, you're taking in. Sorry, I need to keep an eye on the thing. Uh, I know, uh, I know how to give anyone who knows math a stroke. What's E? <laughs> what? If, if you're talking about math, I am not the kind, I am not the person that knows math. I, I don't know what it is about some people. Some people abs, I, I applaud those who do math for kind of, for fun. Cause I cannot do anything math related. Anything math related? I, I don't. I don't know. It, 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 it. I can do it now. Oh no no no! It's not that I can't. I can do it now. I have to like spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to do math in general. If I want to learn how to do something, I'd have to spend t like time, like literal hours, figuring out how to do one thing. Uh, the number of digits E3 is 100, EE3 is EE100. What? <laughs> you're, speaking in, you're speaking a language that I don't understand. <laughs> I should have drawn the head first. Because the body's going to change. Also, I'm drawing a perspective that I have no idea how to do, so... Uh, that's interesting. Uh... <laughs> Be chaotic, start with the feet. <laughs> Hell no! I... There's a lot of artists who, who can do that, though. I'm one of those artists that have to, um, I have to, um, oh man, it's so difficult. I have to have a layout, right? I have to have some sort of layout first and then kind of do it. Also. Hold on. Well, this is going to be hidden. This is actually a lot more difficult than I realize. Again, this is one thing that I'm procrastinating when it comes to drawing this type of thing. Is It's actually very, very, very difficult to do this kind of, this type of uh, angle. So we'll figure it out. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm afraid that the moo is is doing your equation that you just wrote in chat. <laughs> I, I'm afraid that they're actually they're actually solving the problem right now. What? That's that that sh that needs to be a new thing that we that I gotta do. I need to uh, I need to set a stream where I can just help people do their homework on a <laughs> uh, help people do their homework on streams. Like we'll get together as a community and someone could like send like a, a picture of their homework on um someone could send a picture of their homework 
on like the Discord server, and I can pull it up on the on the screen, and then we'll all fill it out. Well, not fill it out. We'll all like tutor you or something like that. <laughs> uh, trust me, the sheer amount of zeros you would have to write would be ridiculous. I'll give you the answer. That's uh, one number off. <laughs> I have a lot of I have a lot of great ideas that we could do in streaming. I don't know how I don't know how you guys would feel about. Uh, I need to I need to figure I need to see a screaming face on screen. Anime screaming face. I need to figure out. I need to see the. I need to find a reference. This looks like a good reference. Just look up Goku. <laughs> actually, you're not wrong. Goku streaming. Hold on. You are actually. Oh my god, you actually straight up helped me. There, there's a specific scene that I know that I know what to look at. Uh, if you ever watch Dragon Ball Z, there's a scene uh, with Goku screaming, uh, and he's transforming from Super Saiyan two to Super Saiyan three, and for lit. And I'm not joking. 10 minutes is just straight up him screaming. It's just him like yelling. That's the whole entire time. Okay, I need got that. I got that. Sorry, I'm looking at my references. I uh, I have two screen. I have two screens right now. One screen that's currently directly in front of me is uh my references and the one that's just adjacent to the right side of me is uh, where I can see all your guys' um, comments and stuff like that. Also, it has my Spotify and everything, too. Super Saiyan, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku transformation is probably the best for that. It's really good. No! I don't want to listen to Dragon Maid. <laughs> I'm trying to draw something really cool. I'm trying to draw something powerful. I don't need something happy right now. Don't judge me on my on my my playlist. Be it's a good thing you cannot see my my uh, Spotify on Discord because so many people would be judging me based on my Discord like on what I'm listening to on Discord. <laughs> uh now I need to find that screaming animation. Uh, I've, have I told you about the story I was telling called uh, Borealis? Uh, I know you told me about one story when, that has to deal with uh, the 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 two walls, but I don't remember what the, what it was called. What's your favorite genre? Uh, are you talking about genre of uh, like what do you like in specifically what kind of genre? Like uh, music genre, uh, like story genres, you know, kind of things like that. Boy Lar is is how to say bor bo sorry I, my that, that hard dyslexia <laughs> I I'm sorry I'm sorry if I don't if I don't uh, pronounce your things right or say your, the things that you tell me right <laughs> I I don't know how to pronounce things uh my favorite genre of music. Hmm. That's hard. That's actually hard to. That's actually kind of hard to. Uh, difficult for me to um, answer. Because my genre of my likes of genre actually shifts. It actually shifts a lot. It depends a lot on my mood. And when it comes to me, I like. I like a genre based on the skill set of the people who perform in the bands if that makes sense uh coming from coming from someone who i i, I used to i used to tour i used to tour a lot for musics and I, actually this this summer i actually went on tour in various areas or various states of the united states and toured uh music 
so I'm kind of when it comes to like music genres in general I'm very it depends it depends the band really but uh if you want a really simple breakdown of like what I really liked when I was around like when I was super young or something like that I loved EDM uh, electronic dance music and the, the things that I would listen to would be like uh, Knife Party I listened to Skrillex I listened to Avicii Dead Mouse, things like that uh, to this day I'll go back to it and I'll listen to it uh, depending on the mood and I'll and I'll still enjoy them not really not so much of like Skrillex and stuff like that but Dead Mouse is definitely a good thing and from there uh, my my shifts kind of changed because after that then I started learning uh, music music theory and things like that and i got really into uh guitar and that was electric guitar and uh that's when i started getting into bands and stuff and i would play electric guitar and my genre at the time that i loved to listen to was uh rock music slash heavy metal so it started off with like the very bare basics with uh metallica acdc um uh, AC, uh, ACDC and uh, Green Day, you know, the very the very basic ones that people would associate themselves with uh, rock music or metal music. From there, then you go into like the very subgenres of um, of guitar music. You love metal? Yeah, same. <laughs> with me, I started going into uh, different genres of metal music and it was... Um, a after I learned, like, listened to like Metallica and stuff like that and learned how to play all their songs... Uh, I started playing. I started playing uh, music such as um, uh, Avenged Seven. I, I started learning Avenged Sevenfold, uh, the Lynch King, Havoc, um, uh, what, not Death and Feminine, uh, Exodus. Uh, what other bands do I like? Uh, I, I'm trying to list off bands that are different. Uh, have I listened to Power Wolf? I don't know if I listened to Power Wolf, but. Uh, there is a good chance that I listen to it. Uh, the Toxic Waltz. I, 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 uh, when it comes to, to metal music, um, at least like currently, I am into thrash metal. <laughs> uh, I'm starting to listen to trap metal, but I still like metal just as much now. See, I still love metal, and I've actually produced metal music with my sister because uh, the first bands that I was in... Uh, the first actual band that I was in, I was in a bunch of cover bands. You're into rusty metal. <laughs> no, but when I was when I started uh, playing metal and stuff like that, I was uh, we were a part of a um, a cover band that played like metal music and stuff like that. And we would play like basically like the covers and stuff like that and tried getting into it. And I played along with my sister. I played as a rhythm guitarist while my sister plays the drums. But as we kept doing more and more shows, the shows that we actually ended up doing got more and more like, I guess I would call it dangerous. But the air, the venues that we would have to play in, uh, it, it kind of like lost my interest because my sister still plays the metal music, right? But I stopped playing it because um the, the kind of like my stopping point is when we had to play at a uh, a bar and the bar that we had was just filled with just straight up like bikers and people that were really shady and we got to play behind like so so you have the venue right and this is the stage that we play and uh the, the entrance was in like the back or in the side but you were basically locked in the in a metal cage like a black fence it's like a fence or a cage it's the little hor the the horse the i forgot what shape it is it's the shape of the stop sign kind of cage and we were basically locked inside this cage and it was a common thing that if you didn't play well the bikers and stuff that who sat on the outside of the cage on just one side like not on all sides but like on this side and on the sides because the back was against the wall if you didn't play a certain way or if it got too rowdy they would straight up throw their empty beer bottles up against the the cage and it would like break on impact and like beer would splatter all over there and that was the that's when i kind of stopped moving away from metal i mean i love the experience not really but um that was kind of my thing where i was like okay i'm gonna kind of 
calm down on metal music. But my sister still does that. And she she still plays on song she still plays in bands um that play in venues like that. And actually me and her collaborate and I write mu like music for her and her band, but they perform it. I don't perform it, but they'll they'll perform it. And uh after that after that genre, then I kind of moved towards um I moved towards like bluegrass and this is I don't want to say this is where I am now but very recently I moved to bluegrass music uh not exactly country but more music heavy instrument heavy kind of vocalist I want to hear your music now <laughs> I could send you uh some copies um but yeah I I recently moved into bluegrass and is and it's actually where we uh where I actually went on tour this summer uh we started we well i flew to texas we started uh we started in texas and from texas we went straight to uh new mexico played in new mexico then from new mexico to arizona from arizona to utah i think utah to wyoming and then we went all the way back uh kind of like to the starting point i don't remember i don't remember which state we went in afterwards but we basically just did like a, a little loop around uh, that portion of uh, America. And it was just bluegrass music. Like, you know, everyone everyone likes it or something. It's a, it's a certain general audience, in all honesty. And uh, that's kind of where I am right now when it comes to bluegrass music. If you want to hear my music, I can send you like... While while we were uh while we were on the uh we we're on tour we did a lot of recordings and stuff like that where we had like one microphone and then we had everyone kind of sitting around the it was like a blue yeti microphone and we all sat around the microphone kind of playing our own instruments and stuff like that but that that's the that's the most recent thing that we have right now and you know I don't know if you're into blue bluegrass music. But if you're into like metal music, uh, the music that's more of my sister's take, because she'll ask me uh, to write compose some sort of music with her, and I'll write I'll I'll do two things, I'll give her like the rough draft version of like lyrics, and I'll give her a rough idea of a guitar rift, and I'll show it to her. I'll show it to her boyfriend, but uh, you know. I'll show it to her boyfriend and she'll and she'll, you know, play it like that. But that's pretty much it. Uh, I didn't mean to cut you off your topic, but I got to go now. I might join back if you're still streaming later though. All right, that's good. Don't worry. I'm, I I stream roughly every day. I don't know if I'm going to stream tomorrow, but Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday I will stream uh and then Saturday, Sunday if, like always. So Yeah, yeah. We we'll, we'll, we might still be drawing. I don't know. It depends. But yeah, we'll see. I'll see you later. But uh, uh sorry, Joe. I I, I kind of went on a tangent right here talking about the thing. Uh, there's a rusty metal band called t Tetanus. <laughs> you gotta learn how to stop me when I start when I start monologuing. <laughs> Cause I will monologue for a long time. Uh, sorry, hold on. Uh, like when you look at the chat when you do. <laughs> I monologue for a long, long time. No one... It's very difficult for me to stop. <laughs> let me see. Let me see. Uh, I still got about like 30 minutes to like draw. Hmm. I don't really like this drawing actually. Uh, 
Uh, I have the basic idea of the theme, uh, bowl, <laughs> hold on, boy, boiler, boiler is, is, did I say it right? <laughs> I'm very bad at this, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, I know I have Bubba and uh, Kralith in it. Uh, Lar... 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 I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. If, if, I'm, if I'm mistaking it... You know I'm bad. Okay, let's see. Well, boiler boileris is boileris <laughs> is gonna be a space themed, and uh, use stellaris stellaris as a base for reference. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh, so this this mouth needs to be a lot longer. So again, sorry if I'm being silent again. I want to see if I can draw certain things. Also, I don't like the way its eye looks. Hey, Lappy. Lawyer attorney lawsuits. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Lappy? Also, I don't think this looks female. It says it's 11, 11 p.m. where I am. I'm really tired since I did my first stream with my new model today. Hey, that's pretty good. Go for it. Do another one tomorrow. Make sure to keep a schedule though. If you don't keep a schedule, you're gonna get you're gonna get real tired, or your voice is gonna get hurt really bad. Don't be like me.
so the ear needs to go up here. Uh, bu 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 sorry. This more look more female. That's the real question here. Maybe if I soften the chin. Also, I can already tell that the flip test is gonna be weird. I'm in the future. It's Monday for me. <laughs> What does she look like? good at drawing things like this. Uh, be lazy and give it anime eyes. <laughs> uh, I don't know about, about female drawing despite being a female myself. Keck. <laughs> don't worry. I'm gonna figure something out. I, I think the biggest problem that I, I'm running into is I actually never drawn this character before. things a little bit I think the chin I think I might I may have drawn just the mouth too big honestly It says, yeah, it, ne uh, it needs some practice to draw something like that. The only things I drew were Kirby and big buff beefy shirtless man <laughs> than the normal woman. I think before I move on with this, I should actually draw the character who I'm trying to draw. Because I the problem is, I actually don't know how to draw her myself. This, what I'm about to draw right now, should actually shouldn't actually take that long to draw. So we could probably draw this real quick. Because I need a rough idea of what she would look like. It says, uh, don't ask why I use big buff beefy shirt. <laughs> you know, if you're into anime, you know what you should look into? You should, uh, you should, you should look into, uh, Baki. <laughs> have you, have you watched Baki? That, it's, that's filled with just straight up sh big beefy shirtless men who are insanely tall.
Uh, are we... Hey, finally! You... Wait, you... did you start what? Wait, did you hear Princess Connect from me or did you hear it from Sunny? Because I know me and uh, Sunny straight up like talk about Princess Connect a lot. Because we absolutely love freaking Princess Connect. But I, uh, I, I played the game way before I started watching the anime, though. Yeah, we straight- oh my god, I love Princess Connect so much. Sorry if I'm quiet, I'm... I want to see if I can draw this really quickly. Because I want to get a good example. Sorry, I need to look at the thing. Uh, Sunny told me about the anime, and then I found, uh, <laughs> and then I found the anime. I really got to find new games to play. I was really bored half the day because I was bored of playing the games I play. You should try just playing games that you. You should play games that you like. Play games that you like. It's. I know I play a lot of games like here and stuff like that, but sometimes. So hey, keep a schedule. Play games that you are really excited for. And hey, you'll have fun doing it. Uh, do you draw in the dark sushi? Yes and no. <laughs> um, uh, the times when I actually draw, I draw at the middle of the night. I draw in the middle of the night, which isn't really great. Uh, I don't remember how I draw muzzles. Hold on. Oh god, that's cringe. You don't need to look at that. How do, how do I draw muzzles again? Okay. I think my art style is changing again because I'm kind of going in a rut and not a rut I'm kind of going in a phase right now where a lot of my characters are actually looking a little bit different than how I normally used to draw them uh it says uh, okay but but going back to what I was saying I do kind of draw in the dark but I also don't draw in the dark so I draw very late at night and I have two different uh, I have I have one lamp right here. I would I would point my camera up and show you my setup, but I have to I have one massive lamp that's 
right located right here and I can adjust it to the amount of brightness that I want. I can make it dimmer, I can make it brighter. And uh, I have two different types of light bulbs. I currently have a natural day uh, bluish kind of light bulb because it makes it easier for my drawings to see on paper. And sometimes if I want to give it a little warmer feeling, oh, this is the light bulb that I'm currently using right now. It's a uh, 60, 60 watt uh, daylight, um, daylight LED or LED light. And I, and I normally use, this is what I'm using currently, but uh, if I want like a warmer vibe, I will use uh, this, I will use this, uh, does it say on here? Uh, buh, 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 buh. I will use this 13 watt um, uh, cream yellow, cream yellow uh, light bulb and change it out to get like a little bit more warmer vibe. But I do like the coldness of, uh, I, I like the coldness of this 60 watt LED light because it keeps me up and it makes the things look nice. Uh, I also got into. I also got to make a schedule of stuff for streaming since I'm actually a VTuber now. On better news, my PC is absolute champ at streaming. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, streamed Overwatch at good settings, with no lag. My old PC would be disintegrating and would take up smoking. Hey, that's a good thing now. At least you can. At least you can finally get get a hold of streaming now. Uh, I draw in the dark, like no light other than the ambient lights. Yeah, for me, I, I definitely draw around, um, I definitely draw in, uh, well, my, my, my style is actually changing right now. Hold on. I don't like that, actually. I don't like that my style is changing again. I mean, I like it in a way, but it's also, mm, you know. I like being able to change styles, but in, a, in another way, it's kind of, I, I like having that consistency. The muscles is what I get stuck at. That actually looks flat. Why does it look flat? Something like that. Uh, let's see. I just moved into a new house, so I have almost nothing. Hey, it's, sometimes that's actually good. Sometimes actually having like nothing in your room is is so much nicer. Because the last thing that you want to do is clutter up your room with all this kind of with all stuff that you don't really need. But it's a good thing that you actually have your uh, your thing all set up in right now. Uh, I can actually show you the level of darkness I usually draw in. I edited a drawing to make it look a bit how I see it. Uh, do you send it in the... Oh my god. Roughly this dark, probably darker. <laughs> god, that's so dark. <laughs> that's actually really dark. What the heck? Also, I think I, I think I know why this is so flat. I think I made it too big. And now on 
honestly, I think I need to have this a little bit. If, I, if, if you're wondering, I'm actually just kind of speedrun drawing this right now. Because I want to be able to, I actually, I want to be able to get back to the other drawing that I'm currently doing right now. This is what happens when I start actually focusing on drawing. I'll actually start like drawing like really good things. <laughs> uh, I had to make a phone stand out of a TV mount boxes, little note, uh, little cardboard thing on the inside. Not my best craftsmanship, but it works. Hey, that's actually not bad. Uh, you want to? You should do. You want to know what you can do for cheap? Are you using your phone to? Uh, are you using your phone to do your uh, tracking like on your face for your VTuber model? Because I actually have a great idea on how you can, um, uh, I know I have a great idea on how you can actually record yourself without having to do like the cardboard setup, and it's gonna be a really good investment for you, and it's really cheap too. I want to soften her eyes a little bit. Okay, I think I just made her eyes. I think I made her eyes even more sharper on accident. I mean, she is supposed to be a pirate, but I don't want her to look extremely terrifying. It's her sister that's terrifying. Oh my god, you you sent the <laughs> you sent the uh the eyeball in the <laughs> in the uh art channel on this on the, the Discord. <laughs> oh my god, I just saw that right now. Uh let's see. Uh yeah, you're using fa you're using facial uh mocamp. Uh sorry, my thing's being weird. Uh to do it. If you go to Walmart uh, there's gonna be, I don't have the brand, I don't have the box on me anymore, but if you go to Walmart and go to their electronics section, there's going to be a device that holds your phone. It's a phone stand and it's basically like a tripod and it's either called on, I on or something like that. It's like in a very like little green box and it has a tripod and it's like $12 and you can use that and you can like adjust it in areas because right now i'm actually using my camera my phone camera because i have a really good phone camera uh to record and stream things right now and uh it's using i have the tripod like hooked on my 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 um my my computer screen and it's pointing directly down onto this thing you have to do some adjustments to yourself to like make it look good but other than that it, other than that, you can totally draw some. You can totally get like a, a cheap stand without having to do the whole bo cardboard box thing. Because that's what I'm doing right now. Also, I just realized her ear's not going to work because she has a hat. I finally switched to a VC face so I can't so I can do expressions. Hey, that's pretty good.
Again, sorry if I'm being quiet. I need to round her face off so it's less sharp and more feminine. My modeler is amazing job on my expressions. My favorite is the sobbing for some reason. <laughs> I haven't seen your stream, so I'm sorry if I haven't seen your stream. Because again, I, again, I'm currently doing my own stream, so you know, not every time I'll be able to, uh, not every time will I be able to see like your streams or anything like that. Uh, I need to figure. I need to find a hat reference. You're probably a street asleep when I stream. Yeah, for me it's a little yeah it's a little different for me because like uh, I'm it's very it's very different on what I could probably be doing honestly. I could be asleep or I could not be or I could be asleep or not. It really depends. But I think it's more I'm um oh god this is actually gonna be a little difficult. This is the one reason why I don't draw her, this character. Her her she has um she has um. Dang, this is actually really difficult. She's very difficult to draw. is here I drop my eraser if the line is there then that means the hat will curl up around here I don't like her hat actually. I'm gonna change the hat to something else. I thought I liked the original designer for hat. I don't actually I actually don't like it. I'm changing it to something else. I need to figure out how to make her eyes a lot more soft. There you go. That's that was the move I needed to do. And in fact, I, you know what? I think I might need to make her eyes a little bit more softer than that. I think that's a little too soft, actually. I 
Uh, let's see. Uh, you gotta turn on your vo and, s and save vods. Uh, you know what you should do? You should start an archive. You should ne you should get an archive channel, YouTube channel for your thing, because whenever uh, there's a really neat thing that you can do on your on your streamlabs that uh doesn't require you to download the entirety of your uh, the stream that you just made, but just to immediately export it to your uh, YouTube channel, so you don't have to worry about um, so you don't have to worry about like downloading it using it all the space taking time to do all that stuff when you can just immediately do it on uh, stre uh not streamlabs it's twitch itself oh not streamlabs i meant uh discord it, it does it for you automatically on discord not discord twitch i mean twitch I need to Google a pirate hat. I don't know any good pirate hats. Yeah, cause uh, if you if you have your vods on uh, on on uh, Twitch, it there's a time limit on how long you can have it before it deletes itself. I don't know what the time limit is, but there there is a time limit there. See if I can figure out a way how to make her hat work. I shouldn't have delete. I shouldn't have closed that. It. That's not good. coming out. Hats are really hard to draw, by the way. She doesn't look like a captain. She doesn't look like a captain. I don't like it. I need I need to find a I need to find a better hat to draw on her. I need to find a good bit I need a better hat design. And I need to do something with her eyes. Because her eyes look a little too she looks a little too meant uh, too much.
that if that happens, then this means this has to go lower. The original concept art for this character is actually really hard to do. I don't know how. I don't know what happened. If also, if you want to find good overlays, you should look on. Um, go online and try to look for some artists who can probably help you, and try to see if you can get custom overlays. Because a lot of them will do that for you, but you have to pay for them, of course. They might be a little expensive, but they're really good. Or you can get pre-made ones, one of the two. Oh, okay, I need different pirate hats. They're, I don't like this one. Pirate. You could, yeah, that, you, that's also an option. You can definitely make one for yourself as well. Oh, man. I'm looking to see if I can find any good hats. I, I need to do a whole... I need to do a whole redo on this character. Because she needs to be updated. I keep dropping my eraser! Ow. I don't like how small it is, though. That's the real thing.
Hmm. Sorry if I'm not answering. It's just hats. I'm, I'm, I'm like trying to design the hat right now. Hats are very difficult to draw. Anyway, uh, blah, 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 blah. uh, you have, uh, you have Photoshop. Uh, I could make one myself. I also have a Switch emulation working, so I could play Kirby's stream. Hey, that's pretty good. Also, I just wanted to say the stream was super lasting at midnight. Honestly, yeah, streaming kind of at midnight, it's a little bit of a double-edged sword. You won't really, I don't want to say you would have a lot of viewers, but it's definitely a lot more calming. It's definitely a lot more calming uh, in the later nights. I need to wrap up the streams sometime because I can't I can't as much as I would love to finish this drawing I don't I, I, I cannot keep doing this thing made some edits with some of my doodles by adding filters to them. Really? So that's where you've been. <laughs> While you were making your edits, I was trying to figure out how to do some characters. I was trying to figure out some character design. Hey, you just posted them. Oh my lord. <laughs> I don't know why that reminds me of, uh, you know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of like those like free mints that you can get. <laughs> I don't know why, I'm sorry. feeling the effects of me getting sleepy. Again, that's why I'm being super, super, super quiet. It's because I'm literally like focusing. So again, sorry for that.
I don't know if I can add some hair here. I mean, I have a rough idea of what she looks like. I don't like the little... Hmm. Oh, you posted another one. I mean, those actually look really cool, I'll be honest. <laughs> I don't know exactly what they are, but they look cool. Dropping my my eraser. Honestly, I think I might just keep. I think I just might keep this part clear. But if I'm doing that, then I might need to sharpen this and make it move, go lower. Sorry if I'm being quiet. Oh. I just want to make sure I'm, I'm doing this right.
too sharp. I don't think I need the top ones. Now, I need to draw That's how you spell it. I'm trying to figure out I'm trying to figure, I'm trying to find a good outfit for her because she looks a little plain right now but I'm gonna add I'm gonna spice it up by giving her some actual out by giving her an actual outfit I'm trying to think of a good idea of what a captain's outfit would look like I'm trying to do it before I get go, before I start getting really sleepy. Oh my god, we're already two hours in. Oh my god, that's not good. All right, I have a really cool idea what I'm going to do with this. So she does have an undershirt. 
but we'll have a little overhang in a little little flap right here I really want to give her that pirate vibe cuz again she is a pirate so she is a pirate so I got to I got to make sure to actually give her really good vibe She's got two shirts on, right? Like this, that kind of go in here. This will be our white shirt. You know, it'll be like a very basic white t-shirt. And then she's gonna have a coat over her hair.
I think we're good for now. Oh, well, I didn't finish the earrings. Hold on. Sense for her to wear a lot of ear of a lot of jewelry. Concept art right now is actually pretty good. She still doesn't look like a captain, though. I don't know how I'm gonna fix that. Something about her doesn't scream that she's a captain. Something about her doesn't scream like a captain. I know it's very rough sketchy, but I'm gonna fix this later on. Right now, I just kinda wanna see what she looks like. At least what I would imagine her in my brain. I don't know. I don't know. She doesn't look pirate. She looks pirate-like? But she's not kind of she's not giving me the captain vibe that I'm after. I don't know how to fix that. She's not giving me a pirate or she's not giving me the captain vibe. Is it the eyes? I can make her eyes a lot more sinister. But the thing is, there's gonna there's a contrast between because this character itself has a sister. This character has a sister, and she's supposed to be the quote sinister part version of her. She's not the captain, but she is. Um, I guess you could say she would be the second in command. If anything happens to her, her sister would be able to take over. I don't know. I don't know. Something about this isn't screaming that she's a, a captain. I tried the jewelries. I tried the coats. I tried the jewelries. I'm trying the coats. I ha I'm currently working on her wings right now. The wings don't take that much, though. I don't know. Something about it isn't screaming at me. Is it the hat or is it the eyes? I don't want to give her an eye patch. Because then that would mean that she that would that would kind of go along the stigma of her being um, you know, 
I guess I could try to make her a little bit more. I guess I could try making her eyes a little bit more sinister. I could darken her eyes a little bit. But that makes it a little too sinister, that's the thing. And I'm not trying to make her look sinister. She's not an evil character, so I can't really give her those eyes. And that's the thing. I can't give her... I can't give her how I normally give evil characters uh, specific type of eye types. Because she's not an evil... She's not inherently evil. So it's kind of difficult for me to figure out how to do this. I don't want to give her any piercings either because she's not that kind of person. I mean, she has like earrings and stuff like that, but that in general, that's just the character that she has. I mean, who, what pirate doesn't have some sort of piercing? I could sharpen her face up instead of having it as a round appearance to give her more of that attitude. But the problem is, I don't want her to end up looking like a, a guy. Well, I guess that helps. Okay, I think it's shaping up a little bit. She is a little old, so that's why I'm giving her the lines right here. I think sharpening the face kind of helped out, actually. The, th the thing is, her, her sister is the one that's supposed to be very sinister. I think I think we're good for the day.
Who knows? I think I'm going to leave it here for today because I'm not going to... I'm going to definitely come back to this and I'm going to finish this. But I think I got the rough sketch down. And then I can come back next time and actually do the other thing. Because I got to go to sleep now because I'm sleepy. Yeah, I'm actually really tired. <laughs> I took some sleeping I took some sleeping tea earlier, so I am really sleepy as well. So, uh I'm going to I don't I'm going to see if I can stream tomorrow. I know the schedule says I'm not supposed to stream, but we're going to see. <laughs> and uh what, what was I going to say? Um I don't know. We'll figure something out. <laughs> But until then, I shall see you next time. Alright, I'm gonna have to sleep. I'm tired.